Eamon Khan here, four seconds out with Frank Smith ahead of Chantal Cameron versus Katie Taylor 2. Frank, just jumping straight into it. Win, lose or draw, more so lose or draw for Katie Taylor. Are fights still on the horizon for her? Are rematches with Serrano still on the horizon for her? I think there's still massive fights to be made, you know. Look, both of them will be 100% focused on Saturday night, not looking past Saturday night. Um, I think, you know, obviously Katie Taylor would still be undisputed champion at 135 regardless of the result on Saturday. There's still a lot of big fights to be made there. Um, I think she'd have to decide what she wants to do. But like I say, both of them will be very much focused and not looking beyond Saturday night. The number of young fighters in terms of young fighters in their age and also in their experience as well. In terms of growing this area of Ireland, Northern Ireland and such. Sorry, go on, you've got a no, quote on your mind. I don't know, I don't know. I'm just getting stared at by my understudy over there. Who's that? Eddie. He's understudy? Yeah. yeah. He's, uh, I've taught him everything he knows. Does he try and put you up? I don't know, I think so. I think he just tries to keep the pressure on, you know, because he's so good at it and he just tries to make it harder for me. That's how people grow, I guess. And there are fighters on the undercard that want to grow. Uh, look, in terms of growing the region, these fighters, social media generation and age, do you feel like they need to get knockouts, send statements to keep the name in people's mouths to grow the region as well? 100%, look, we all know that Dublin delivers massive nights. We saw that in May, we saw the atmosphere it created. and. I always go back to Gary Cully's ring walk that night was one of the best things I've ever seen out of all the shows we've ever done. You know, he's got a huge opportunity here as Casey comes towards, you know, the latter years of her career, again, regardless of result. Um, he's got a massive opportunity to come and headline in Dublin himself and deliver some massive nights. And that's what he'll be completely focused upon. You know, he's coming off the back of a tough loss against Jose Felix here in May going straight back in there. Reese Mole fight's a great fight, but we need to entertain. You saw it with Thomas Carty as well. He sold seven, 800 tickets for last last time and around that for this time as well. Um, you know, so there's definitely a huge market here and something we need to push hard. Broadening the horizon for the topic of boxing, it was reported, I believe it was either today or yesterday, that Conor Ben's opponent, last opponent, popped for uh, banned substances. Uh, what can you tell us outside of what's been reported in terms of that finding? Nothing really. It's, it's, it's being dealt with by the commission. You know, it was BADA testing um, enrolled by the commission as well. So that's been dealt with by the commission and they'll follow through. You know, we have to allow them to go through due process. And um, as soon as there's more info, you know, I'm sure people will be aware. Have you spoke to Ben about that situation? Yeah, Connor was. Uh, Connor has been made aware when, as soon as the commission were made aware and we were made aware, Connor was aware. Um, and yeah, look, as I say, we have to allow the commission to go through their due process and obviously the Florida Commission will be doing that. Does it kind of, with the increased testing, with the increased uh, findings of fighters who are testing positive, how hard is the job to match make and find fighters that you can trust that you know won't, you know, potentially have this happen to them going forward? Yeah, look, I think, you know, although these and that, this news that we hear about now, He's not good for the sport. It's good for the sport that, you know, the extra testing is being put in place is the one, you know, one thing I will, will add there. I think, you know, it's obviously testing regimes, this is where there needs more work on a global scale as within boxing of how we try and regulate better, how we put more testing in place. But, you know, again, it all comes down to funding. It comes down to um, the various governing bodies working together. So, you know, that's something that's going to be a continued process of improving. Uh, in terms of matchmaking, you know, I, I don't think it changes things on that end. But like I say, the additional testing and measures that are all being put in place are only beneficial for the sport. Frank, moving on to uh, the day of reckoning, 23rd December, just speaking to Eddie as well. I haven't seen anything official in terms of the broadcasting situation. What is the situation in the UK and the US? Apart, apart from Wilder's leak, it, I believe it was shown that it'll be pay-per-view over in the US. Um, but what is the situation? Can, can you tell us? Yeah, look, it's obviously being worked through by, you know, the, the parties at the minute, you know, DAZN, um, hopefully have some news soon. You know, obviously AJ is tied in with, with DAZN um, globally and you'll, you'll see some news soon. You know, at the minute, no, no more discussions can be had or, or, or comments just yet, but I'm sure we're not far off from seeing an announcement. Geography is not my best uh, topic, um, but I believe that that would mean that in the US, that pay-per-view would be happening around 3 p.m., I believe. And in light of Fury and Garnu, which if the numbers are to be believed in the U.S. reported by Dave Meltzer, um, it didn't do, do as well. So is that a concern for you that if pay-per-view is going to happen over in the U.S., 
in uh, but be hosted in that region that pay-per-views might be detrimented because of the US and their interest at that time. Yeah, look, I don't know exactly what the numbers were. We obviously weren't involved in that event. I think naturally any show that doesn't take place in the US is going to be affected by by the time zone. It's just the truth of it. It doesn't matter what the fight is. It'll be the biggest fight in the world. It's going to do less numbers if it's not in the US than it would do in the US. Um, I, I don't think you can hide away from that. Um, so... But if this if this is a way of making the biggest fights happen, then it's great for the sport. You know, if this is the way that we make these fights happen, uh, and it takes away ego, takes away issues with making fights, then I think it's beneficial. But yeah, I think you're definitely going to see a drop off at three o'clock in the afternoon. You know, or I think in in the West Coast it would be closer to one or two o'clock in the afternoon. You know, so of course that's going to affect numbers naturally. So I don't think you can change anything with that. Curious career of Demetrius Andrade rolls on. He's taking on David Benavides this weekend. Uh, I know you're not a fight breakdown fella, but just in terms of Andrade, uh, who you worked before with in the past, uh, do you feel like it comes through the fight and there's the interest in working with him in the future? Yeah, look, we had a good relationship with him, obviously, over the years, delivered some uh, many a fights with him. I think, you know, he's got a, a tough test. Sometimes he's been sort of guilty of not, you know, early on in the fight, he, he goes, goes for it and then sort of just fades into just boxing and you know, some dull performances. I'm not going to break down the fight. Like you say, I'm not, that's not what I'm good at. I, I'm, I'm not going to pretend to be. Um, but yeah, it will be interesting to see what happens. How much does Shakur Stevenson's performance against Edwin De Los Santos hurt him as a potential pay-per-view star going forward? Yeah, I think the, the struggle is, and we've spoken about it many a times, is not every night you're going to have your best performance in reality. It's just the truth of it, you know, and you can, you can sit and pretend and, Shakur Stevenson's a tremendous fighter but yeah when you have performances like that ultimately it does harm your value but you've got to come back and then prove to people why you deserve to be in that position and that's what he'll have to do in the next fight he'll be under a lot of pressure in the next fight to deliver a big performance but like I say you know, at the highest level of the sport not every night you're going to have your best performance your good friend Tony Bellew is on every night now delivering good performances. He'll be hoping to anyway by entering into the jungle. A man who didn't want the spotlight is getting the spotlight here. Do you believe he can win it? I believe he either wins it or he gets chucked out after a day for someone suggested knocking out Nigel Farage. So one of the two. I don't know if you still get paid if you knock out Nigel Farage and get chucked out. Who knows? Uh, finally as well, um, Adam Smith is returning after a, a battle with cancer. Cancer treatment sees him healthy again, uh, looking to pursue... Um, further endeavours, just a word on working with Adam Smith and his, his future. Yeah, look, we've had a great relationship with Adam Smith for many years now and, uh, you know, even during his struggles, spoke to him regularly um, and it's great to see him back to, you know, full fitness, you know, it's, it's uh, he's a great man and, you know, look forward to seeing him back. Obviously, he's left Sky now um, and, yeah, it's good, good to see. I'm just happy for him because he's a very, you know, a lovely bloke. So we will... We will, uh, we'll see how things play out. There's lots of opportunity out there. For future under zone? I don't know. Let's see. You know, I don't know what he's planning on doing. Obviously, look, he's gone through a very tough time and he'll want to be you now enjoying some time with his family, I'm sure, while he's fit and healthy. But, you know, um, that's maybe a discussion for another day once he's had some time to, you know, enjoy himself and enjoy life. Frank, much appreciated. <laughs>